Well, uh, I had uh, been, uh, after I retired from the military, I'd been working in the film industry for a number, number of uh, years. And I had so many projects on my plate, uh, and I'd heard about New Voyages, but never really had the opportunity to contact James Colley. Uh, finally, uh, through an opportunity on Facebook, uh, we began chatting, and he invited me up, and I participated in my first New Voyages uh, last year, the episode Mind Sifter. Good. And then what did you do in the motion picture industry? Uh, I'm a military technical advisor in the uh, film industry. I also supply stock footage, do research, uh, and I'm a writer and uh, have uh, had uh, numerous uh, screenplays uh, and documentaries for History Channel and other, other programs. Basically, I've worked on over 300 uh, features to this point, everything from Andy Richter Controls the Universe to Black Hawk Down. Cool. Now, the props that we see in the background, are these all your pos possessive uh, properties? Well, these are things that I've put together for the show. Some of them were already on set uh, that we've had, but over the course of the past two years, I have made things. Some things we'll see used, as an example, like the uh, swords used by the Fabrini in the upcoming episode, Torment of Destiny. Uh, others that we may or may not see, like this uh, book uh, that, we will, that was mentioned in Deep Space Nine that was written by our Dr. McCoy, the most talented Jeff Bond. And then still others ranging from simple desktop models like the Federation Dreadnought, which just spun. It's just spun. Tell me about the Dreadnought. What, what uh, classification of ship, and is that a, something that has already been seen on film? This particular thing has not been seen in any new voyages. Uh, we're hoping to get it in for a shot somewhere, which, it, again, it may or may not take in. It is canon. It is, uh, was uh, originally designed by Franz Joseph uh, for his technical manual, and uh, Gene Roddenberry paid homage to him in Star Trek The Motion Picture, and in the background chatter, you can hear mention to the USS Entente and its appropriate uh, naval construction contract number, and this is uh, supposed to represent the Dreadnought class. And like I say, we're trying to work it in and we'll see. Okay, all right. So what is your function here? I, I know I hear your name yelled at across the set quite often. What, what does your function do? Yeah, on this particular show, I'm the military technical advisor and the property master. Uh, as a military technical advisor, I've been giving the actors training in proper military courtesy and etiquette. Uh, I'm also I'm quite aware of obviously the fictional Starfleet and also real life Navy, Air Force, military service in general. Um, I also am teaching them uh, various combat moves, and in this case, we're looking at historical because most of the uh, stars were using 1940s, 50s, and 60s Army judo or jujitsu. As property master, I'm responsible for ensuring that the sets are propped up, kind of runs along with set decoration too. Um, an example, we had a very exciting scene last night in which some uh, unexpected surprises uh, occurred. We had some props that uh, received some damage and had to be repaired. Um, we call that a prop heavy day, but we were successful. The show went on. Uh, now, now do you, like you're talking about repairing, uh, um, are, there, are there times when, you, when the production has to stop because of a prop? Absolutely. Uh, last night, the production uh, was stilled for uh, you know seven to ten minutes on a couple of occasions because the actors damaged the props. And while I would love to be like Scotty and change the law of physics, glue will only dry so fast. All right. Uh, anything else you'd like to um, talk about? Uh, fun times that you've uh, had here? Uh, memorable events? Well, uh, obviously, uh, I bring my uh, young son, Alex, he's 11. Uh, I get a kick because uh, he gets to work on the set as well. As, uh, he's been a set operator and an extra. I myself have got a chance to be an extra. Uh, last year, I was a red shirt. This year, James uh, kindly made a uh, gold command uniform for me, so I'm getting to wear that for the first time out. And it even has the rank of lieutenant, which goes with my real life rank of captain in the Air Force, wherever my rank pen went to. Um, so, you know, all I can say is it's constant memories, constant magic, and there's really hard to pin one specific thing because once you get here, it's go, 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 and fun, 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 but it's also a lot of work. <laughs>